Hey everyone and welcome back. Hey, since most of you know, I live in a rural, 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 I live away from everybody. <laughs> now this is what I see off my front porch. And the only way I get internet is by cellular tower. I mean, I can't even get Starlink if I wanted. Now why am I doing this video on this channel, you ask? Since many of you have shown an interest in this, even those that live in the city have asked what I've been up to in this area. So I'm gonna show you what I think is a beast of a cellular router, along with cellular data plans that I've used to get the most for less. Now I know living in Arizona or even looking to move to Arizona, these are some of the things that you might want to know what's available for a whole lot less than you would normally spend for full home internet. With 4G LTE, or if you're lucky to have the 5G tower near you, you're gonna have blazing fast internet. Now this router is a new Cuddy P5 5G Monster I replaced my old Netgear router with. Now I don't want to bore you with all the specs on this thing because there is a lot of them. So I'll go ahead and give you the good stuff and show you the interface along with the extremely easy setup. Now I'll go ahead and put the, all the specs in the description for those who need them and want to learn more about this. Now the Cuddy router firmware has a great command line interface. Now I'll show you how to get to it to make it easy to modify the router in areas you can't get to or have to go through a lengthy process to say band lock signals or even repair the IMEI number from time to time with only one click. Okay, let's quickly go over the highlights of the Cuddy P5 with the Wi-Fi 6 technology. Now it comes with the lightning fast Qualcomm Snapdragon SDX 55 5G NRSA NSA modem inside. Now the Cuddy P5 supports a 5G NR downlink speeds of up to 2.5 gigabits per second and 4G LTE downlink speeds up to one gigabits per second. The wide spectrum bandwidth accelerates the internet speeds and reduces the network latency for prime and time sensitive mobile broadband services. The Qualcomm IPQ5018 Wi-Fi 6 that delivers super fast dual band Wi-Fi speed of up to 2402 megabits per second on a five gigahertz band and 574 megabits per second on a 2.4 gigahertz band. Now with this exceptional wireless performance enables online gaming and HD video streaming at the same time with large files that can be shared with multiple devices. Now it comes with a dual SIM and a one failover keep you always on internet. Dual SIM slots provide redundancy and keep the device always online. Now both SIM slots can be filled. You can choose whether to use a SIM card one or a SIM card two or auto. It has four removable 5 dBi cellular antennas and two 5 dBi Wi-Fi antenna that enhance the sensitivity of the router and improve the signal quality of 5G NR and Wi-Fi network. Let's jump into the interface and let's take a look at what it has to offer. And after that, I'll show you the speed differences from the Netgear to the Cuddy router, which you will see is a big difference. Setting it up is very easy with their easy to follow instructions, but basically you insert your fully activated SIM card into slot one, then plug it in and push the power button on the back. Okay, let it go ahead and boot up. Next, you want to go ahead and look at the connections on your PC and choose Cuddy, and it'll have some numbers after it, to connect. Now, the password is located on the sticker under the router. Okay, now that you're connected to the router via Wi-Fi, now you can do this also by plugging it in with a, a Cat5 cable and so forth. But now that you are connected to the router, then go to your browser of choice and go to Cuddy.net. You can also use the IP address of 192.168.10.1. Now, what this will do is take you to the login screen with the initial password is admin. Now, you will be greeted with a quick setup screen that will walk you through it. Don't worry, it has auto functions that read your SIM cards and chooses the best option. Now, I'm going to show you how to refine those choices later. Now, if all goes well, you will be connected to the internet, but be aware that some carriers will take a little longer at times to hook up and connect. With products like this, I always suggest to be sure that the firmware is up to date to the newest version. Now, you can download it to your computer and click on the advanced settings, then firmware, locate the downloaded file and click update. It's gonna go through a boot up again. So after that's done, let's go and take a look at the rest of the interface. 
Okay, as we go ahead and take a look around the interface here, they do have a nice setup. It's it's really easy to look at. It's really easy to get to things. Um, yes, it's not as complex as, say, the MoFi software and so forth. But as we look here, you have the wireless, the cellular, uh, SMS, so they can send messages from your uh, ISP or your uh, cellular carrier and so forth. So you have a lot of things here that you can look at but as you can see i've actually taken my netgear password or uh username and passwords just so i don't have to change everything in the house and everything that i have my internet hooked up to so i can just plug and play this thing like i said it's going to go into a quick setup which is like here then you want to go ahead and keep going next auto and auto and auto so here is where you can actually put in whatever name you want for an SSID. And then you put in your passwords. and So you can put whatever you want right here. Hey, Sheldon, did you change your Wi-Fi password again? Yes, it's Penny. Get your own Wi-Fi. No spaces. <laughs> so you go back to system settings. And what you can do here is it's going to go to your cellular settings. This kind of going to give you an idea of everything uh, that you can set up on here as just an auto. Now, what I like to do is I go to uh, or cellmapper.net to find out what bands I have that are working well. Uh, or you can actually go through this and just check them and so on and so forth just so you can get the best signal possible. Now, the, the end signals are all 5G, which I really don't have any 5G around here yet. I mean, I get a lick of it every once in a while, but it's <laughs> so I don't worry about it too much. But yeah, here you can go APM profiles, auto, and so forth. Or it knows the SIM card you put in there. Okay, I go ahead and put this chart up here that will show you the numbers and how they should work. The RSRP number, uh, which is right here, as you can see, is really uh, very good. It's down to 81 now. Uh, good signal, 80 to 90. Uh, not bad, not bad. The RSRQ is... 10. Well, I'm at 10 now, minus 10. So I have excellent there. This will fluctuate. All these numbers will fluctuate. Now 20 is excellent. You Now you go the other way with this is 13 to 20 is in good range. 0 to 13 is in mid cell and the cell edge is 0. Now general settings. Now here you can look at wireless. It'll go through the spill there for you. Uh, you can put a VPN on here. Tell it your VPN information. Okay, advanced settings. This is really uh, the heart and soul of this thing. Now, if you're running, say, a visible SIM card, you'll want to use this. And 6566 usually is what uh, I run. Sometimes it's 64, uh, but the TTL is what kind of says, hey, I'm not a router, I am a phone. Other things, you can do your custom DNS if the DNS from your ISP isn't fast enough. You have your LAN settings. Another good thing here is your guest network. You can actually add a network. So what you're going to do is you're going to use this as a guest or just call it anything you want. And you want to make sure that it is password protected. So you want to come in here and usually this is the one right here you're going to want to use. If you want a guest network. And you can do it on the 5G uh, or the 2.4 gigahertz. Now I'm not going to go through all of this because it's it just, there's so much to go through. And this would take just a long time to go through. And you can do this on your own when you get it. But you have a firewall, your MAC filter, your IP filter, domain filter. Uh, this is all security settings. Your WPS, which is really nice to have if you have like a, um, a range extender. You can just click on the WPS and then the other one on your range extender and it'll match it and put everything in for you. You can redo your time zone, your firmware, your backup and restore. Once you have this all set up, definitely do a backup just to have it. So if you ever have to factory reset this, you can just throw your restore back on it and everything's uh, set up again. Your admin account, all that is, is you're putting in and making a new password for yourself. You'll want to do that too right off as soon as you get this. Now you can do a timed restart. Like sometimes with some carriers, you have to reset the SIM for it to work better each day. So you can actually have this just, uh, it just kind of reboots it every uh, day at 2 o'clock in the morning. That's a nice feature. 
You can also reboot here. This reset is for the, this is a reset of the router. So it's a, it takes it back to a factory reset. So you can go over all this. It's really, like I said, it's very simple, very easy. Now I already did a quick clip of the uh, AT commands. But let's go ahead and go to it again. If you have to, there are lots of AT commands that you can do. This is just a tremendous help for anybody that instead of having to code it or having to hook it up to the putty uh, or have to go to, you know, and pay somebody else to go onto your router and, you know, change things, modify an IMEI or something like that. Uh, you can do this here with no problem, but I'll give you the AT command page, which it does not have it listed anywhere in here. You have to know the actual page to go to and go direct to it. So I'll leave that in the description for you. So if you do get this router, you'll have that. But like I said, this is how easy this is to use and set up if you need to set up anything or modify anything. And uh, I hope you liked it. Let's go ahead and go back out and we'll go over the speed tests on this. Okay, what about speeds? Now this is a 4G LTE here, as 5G is not here yet. I'm waiting, I can't wait. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Netgear speeds I was getting. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Cuddy P5 speeds. Now this is a pretty decent increase, but remember, I am far from the towers. Now my visible wireless tower is 9.7 miles away and is obstructed. And my AT&T tower is 5.6 miles away, but I have a clear view of it. Now all in all, I would say that the, for the rural location, these are pretty, pretty good numbers, pretty good speeds. For an unlimited data account for only $25 a month, but I know I can do way better data speeds and a much, much better quality of signal. So stay tuned for that video coming up by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. That way you don't miss it and you'll see I'm gonna get lots more. And thinking ahead for when 5G is available because those speeds are gonna be insane, especially when you're used to these. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, is this Cuddy P5 worth it? In my opinion, yes. It is a beast of a router. Great interface. Now with an easy command line modifications and a robust enough for complete home internet solution. So keep an eye out for my video on how to bring in faster data speeds by adding an antenna that you won't want to miss. And if you have found value in this video is to be kind enough to hit the like button for me. It means a great deal to me and our channel. I appreciate it. So thanks for watching. See y'all on the next one.